you see the doctor? He does love to be in the papers, then right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Is he breathing? Well, he made a sort of sigh. And then some gurgling noises? He came right at me. Just make sure you leave that electro baton near him. In case he turns out to be important. I've learned so much from you over the years. All right. Right-o. Lovely day for it. Right-o. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Should clear up soon, I imagine. All right. Workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the Bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Oh, I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Turn down the heat on the raw reacting reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the expected threshold temperature. Never mind. Just grab the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris.
door looks rather sturdy. I wonder if there's a way around it. Sorry to bother. Please don't make a fuss. Disagree. Work is safety. I don't think I want to try and cross that steam. I hope I can turn it off somewhere. Chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam, if that is indeed what I did. sneak past these gents without a fuss. Dr. Burlock would like all 
personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then. Resolve the situation yourself. Snug as a bug on a drug. Oh, this won't go to wait. Oh, just relax. Don't question it. Please just lie down. these shutters. There's probably a big red button somewhere, isn't there? I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. I feel rather brilliant right now. time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school and he gave me such a thrashing why would I remember that right now Christ Sally was in on the scheme no wait She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Veloc's solution is a tad rash. But it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Right. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Shall not receive me with empty words. But you shall. Pre Do we 
really have to do this. done on the latest Isima. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's bridge club. They'll do a better job than you people. Oh, look, it's not... It's me. for knocking down my blocks in nursery. Is that supposed to be ironic? Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> And what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! 
Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Now, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. It's just the sort who would. house movie. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Sally for another wonderful adventure. away before something starts chasing you.
this doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. They flushed the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind pausing in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Store a batch of slightly defective joy. How many batches of slightly defective joy have gone out? Pushed. Or were they flushed? Ah, a hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. nothing but you're going to get sick. See? After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. You're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit, then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really... Th Think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad? 
while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. <sighs> It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? Oh, a girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees, and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again.